Did you know that we have more suicides than COVID deaths in the world? Yes, I'll show you. The forgotten pandemics of the 21st century are already here and they're far more deadly than a virus. The system is broken. It's been broken for some time. Pushed to the limit by impending frog boil, maybe, just maybe, we are ready to step across the threshold to change. Humanity is at a crossroads. The world is falling apart. To succumb to fear and, quote, go with the flow is no longer the best choice. To choose silence or the path of least resistance is now the enemy of life itself. Many of us are searching outside for solutions or for someone to blame. I suggest we turn the lens inward. Perhaps a new perspective can help us summon the strength to act, to overcome our karmic habit of spineless acceptance in the myriad delusions of the world. The iron law of cause and effect now requires that we join forces with love and step into a new level of individual discernment, discipline, and responsibility to defend our DNA health and our destiny. The battlefield, my friends, is our bodies and our minds. Our challenge is to become the rulers of our own minds and be free. Most of us believe COVID-19 to be very dangerous. However, this virus is not the enemy. In fact, it's not even the cause of our discomfort. Do not believe the fear. As of today, we have just over 1 million COVID deaths worldwide. We know the vast majority of COVID deaths were our elderly and that perhaps 94% of them had other pre-existing conditions. What are those comorbidities? The diseases that doctors report as contributing causes of death. These are the 12 forgotten pandemics that affect billions of us far more than any virus. The top pandemic number one is so invisible we almost missed it, yet it harms 7.5 billion people, everyone on Earth. Low nutrient food and poor immunity from eating food that has been processed but loses nutrients each step along the way. We start with original food, but by the time we eat it, we've lost 70 to 90% of the nutrients. DNA modification, farming chemicals, heat, milling, transport, storage, mixing, baking, packaging, every step costs us a little bit in valuable nutrients, especially minerals, until there's nothing left. To make things worse, due to enzyme and microbiome imbalance, Many good nutrients aren't absorbed in our body and get eliminated. The result is a world of fear, brain fog, tired adrenals, and low resistance to disease. So, the surest way to reduce COVID deaths is to eliminate nutrient deficiencies, to shift toward holistic production methods away from empty foods and chemical farming. Yes, a major change which builds immunity and reverses all the diseases. Otherwise, our children and our grandchildren will be forever helpless in the coming surge of these other forgotten pandemics. Pandemic number two, hypertension, now affects 1.2 billion people. Pandemic number three is COPD, lung disease, 560 million people. Pandemic number four is osteoarthritis and osteoporosis, 550 million. Obesity is pandemic number five, 480 million. Pandemic number six is diabetes, 470 million people. Number seven is heart disease, affecting 450 million. Number eight is body toxicity, inflammatory and autoimmune diseases. 430 million people. Number nine is Alzheimer's, 50 million. Pandemic number 10 is cancer, 18 million. 
Number 11 is electromagnetic hypersensitivity from all our electronic gadgets. Electrical poisoning is invisible, and since the symptoms are much like COVID-19, it's hard to know. The 12th forgotten pandemic is suicide, self-harm plus drug overdoses. This year, the WHO estimates there will be over 2.5 million suicides. Wait, just a minute here. Does that mean suicides will exceed COVID deaths? Yes, probably when the year is over. And if 94% of U.S. COVID deaths had other contributing causes, then just 6% of U.S. COVID deaths were due to COVID alone. Worldwide, that would be just 6% of 1 million, or 60,000 deaths due to COVID alone. Hmm. Compare that to 2.5 million suicides. This is far greater than COVID deaths. Sadly, suicides are primarily young adults. My heart aches for every one of these losses. Today, I weep with grief. Yet, in my best moments, I see us at a tipping point. Could it be an invitation, an opportunity for each of us to step through our own unique doorway like a stargate into a new chapter of our lives? The forgotten pandemics are the underlying comorbidities of COVID-19. These are causing more suffering and death for everyone. Billions of us, far more than any virus. Together, these represent the major financial, medical, spiritual, and health issues of our time. The solutions to illness are right here in our homes, our gardens, and our minds. To rebuild happiness for the long term, we must become healthy, strong, and resilient to face the coming challenges. I invite you to click to watch the video series, The Forgotten Pandemics of the 21st Century. What will it take to walk through your personal portal? When staying the same is no longer an option and the other side is unknown, both ways are a risk. It's time to step forward with an open heart and an open mind. I'm asking you to please find the courage within yourself to take a step to do it or die. When we summon our determination and step into the other side, we discover a new future of wellness. Are you coming?